My name is Mary Jane. I work with Zaron Cosmetics. I'm the general manager. The beauty industry in Nigeria is really growing at a very fast rate. I'm proud to say that the beauty industry in Nigeria is empowering so many young women these days. You have makeup artists who have that as their source of livelihood. You have people, business women who sell cosmetic products and are doing very well at it. So, so far for the past few years, it's been a very steady and a very tremendous growth. The beauty industry in Nigeria is just starting to pick up and that means that there's so much that is in store for this um, industry and we're yet to see you know, what's coming. Um, I think that the beauty industry in Nigeria and Africa in general is a huge, huge, huge industry. I mean, I'm, we're thinking, I think the numbers, the last numbers I saw in 2014, it's about $35 billion industry. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of opportunity um, in, the, in Nigeria. And then just when you look at cosmetics, color cosmetics, you're looking at about $620 million. So that's very, very huge. Um, it's really great to be part of this industry. We have a lot of new brands coming up. We have some international brands like MAC and Lancome here in Nigeria. And then we have um, indigenous brands, you know, smaller brands like r, &R Luxury, um, companies that make their own shea butter, things like that. Um, growing in this industry as well. So it's a really exciting time to be in the beauty industry in Nigeria. The beauty industry in Nigeria is actually um, very good. And right now, I think um, it has blossomed so much. And I find it quite interesting with um, all kinds of um, makeup uh, artists, beauty brands that have come into the industry. I think that so far we're doing a fantastic job in the beauty industry. I think that you know, beauty editors, makeup artists, everyone who's in the creative industries, in the beauty industry, is doing a fantastic job. And I think that the sky is only the stepping stone, it's not even the limit for them. The beauty industry internationally, I would say, is doing very well as well. Beauty globally is doing tremendously well. And um, in comparison with the Nigerian market, the Nigerians are doing so much more than you would expect and that's because we have a lot to work with we have the African angle to things which we are able to explore in line with the more global aspect to beauty so that means that we can do a lot with our traditional looks with the gaily tying the, the colorful things that we have in line with our type of beauty in this part of the world so um, talking about the international market there's also so much going on, a lot of products coming out, different brands emerging. We also have makeup artists who are doing a lot of things that we haven't seen before. So I would say that it's fascinating and it's just a very a wonderful experience. On a global scale, the beauty industry is, is very large and I think it's um, a big contributor to the fashion world. Um, on a global scale, I think beauty is crazy. Um, you know, I'm always on social media and I'm seeing girls from all over the world, you know, looking at girls from Tokyo, um, the Middle East, the U.S., um, all embracing beauty and just showing off their version of what beauty is. And what's really exciting is now African girls can do the same and we're kind of part of this beauty story. So what you're seeing is not just one version of beauty where it's been, you know, the European version, but now we're seeing beauty as a worldwide beauty and many different types of beauty and so it's just really exciting and definitely it's definitely the year for the you know edgy um, indie brands so you know the big brands are kind of taking a hit we're seeing smaller brands um, really grow and develop a mass following. Regardless of um, the current situation of the economy, I think the beauty industry is actually a great one to be in at this time because I think that the beauty industry is actually just finding its feet in Nigeria and I think it's a great platform for anyone. When I think of the beauty industry in Nigeria today, I think of two things um, which are both creativity and collaboration. Creativity in the sense that everyone in the beauty industry is realizing more and more what they can do, you know, basically they're coming up with various ways to express themselves, they're seeing what's being done on the international front 
and everyone is up in their game. So the sky is only the stepping stone for the beauty industry in Nigeria. And needless to say that the Nigerian beauty industry is actually getting international recognition now. So I think the beauty industry in Nigeria now is certainly one to keep an eye on. So five to 10 years ago, we didn't have Instagram, for instance, which is a makeup lover's heaven. If you go on Instagram, you find that you see, it's amazing what you see on Instagram, or on Facebook, or on Twitter, but especially on Instagram, you find so many creative um, works from different makeup artists, fantastic products from different brands, um, ideas, you know, things that people hadn't even thought was going to be a major aspect of our world today is actually happening now. So five to ten years ago, we didn't have all of this and it actually picked up about five, five years ago. Yes, back ten years ago, we had some activity, but about five years ago, it, it became very fast paced. And um, this is just the beginning, really. The market for the beauty industry has changed quite a lot um, because, I mean, way back, uh, for the kind of things we have now, it's so different. So the, 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 the transition is, is quite, there's a, there's a large gap from what we had way back to what we have now. The beauty industry has also greatly evolved because, you know, there's obviously more focus on it now than there was in the last couple of years. There's a lot more marketing, there's a lot more PR, there's a lot more people who are proud to state that, you know what, my passion is beauty and I'm going to go after it. And they're doing just that. They're getting recognized. For instance, um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking the creative director of Maybelline, New York, Nigeria, Binkme Onokoya. She's been in the game for a long time, but it wasn't until last year when she went for New York Fashion Week and she was backstage doing makeup for Lacoste, DKNY, Mara Hoffman, you know, all of these people. And, you know, she was backstage doing makeup with other internationally recognized makeup artists, other internationally recognized creative directors in their own rights basically that's the collaboration i was talking about earlier when i said when i think of the beauty industry i'm thinking creativity and i'm thinking collaboration because you know beauty and fashion have now come together in the sense that i mean who would have thought when you're thinking beauty you're thinking dkny or when you're thinking beauty you're thinking the mercedes-benz new york fashion week from 10 years ago, I mean, pretty, relatively young, but from what I can remember, I think that, you know, it was very, very um, singular. There was, you know, just one type of what we thought beauty was, um, which was very European. And I think now we're seeing beauty be more diverse, um, beauty embrace different cultures, and that's really, really exciting. So it's really a great time to be in this industry. The values the, the beauty industry has to the entertainment industry is quite enormous because, um, for instance, you can't do without uh, the makeup artist. Uh, if you were to take it to the fashion world as well, it's something you can't do without. So the value of the beauty industry is very, very important. It's you have um, artists who have to look a certain way, who have to keep up with a certain image for themselves. And um, they need us because we help with that branding because it's all branding for the, the artist, the actress, you know, anybody in the entertainment industry who is out in the media, in people's faces, they need to look good, they need to portray themselves a certain way. That is where we come in. We put you out there looking your best. So we need um, each other. You need us. The entertainment industry needs the beauty industry as well. Beauty and entertainment go hand in hand. If you look at music, for example, you look at musicians, um, especially female musicians, um, you're seeing them, you know, team up with makeup artists and, um, you know, be spokespeople for beauty brands. And that's really cool because, you know, as women, we identify we are celebrities, we, we live in a celebrity culture, and beauty is a major part of that. So, definitely goes hand in hand. I think everyone's interpretation of beauty is different. So, um, but I certainly think that the beauty industry adds value into, you know, other industries because there's collaborations, like I said, with the fashion industry and all of that stuff, which just creates business opportunities for people. 
the fashion industry, the beauty industry, they go hand in hand and um, we complement each other. And both industries also complement the entertainment industry. So you see it's like a, a chain of industries working together for the good of everybody. So the fashion designers, they need us to help with the image they're portraying for their outfits. Um, you have stores, big stores, who are having photo shoots, video shoots, different things of that nature. And then we need to come in there to also create the look. Because imagine a very nicely dressed woman who doesn't have the right hairdo and her face is all very oily and um, has a lot of spots. I mean, it's not, it's not a perfect image. So we come in to create, to help create that perfect image, which is what these industries need. Beauty and fashion are like sisters. Um, you know, you can't go into a fashion show, a major fashion show, and not see, you know, experimental or cool beauty as well. Um, you, you, makeup can be used to kind of tell a fashion story. So beauty, fashion, one and the same, and um, it's great combination. Uh, value added for the fashion industry, like I said about uh, the entertainment industry, it's something you can't do without and it's something we'll have to embrace more in the future. If I was to predict the growth of the beauty industry in Nigeria, I would say that we are yet to see, I mean, it's going to be a big bang. Um, every day you have loads of makeup artists, graduating from different makeup schools. You have Nigerian men and women, business women and businessmen, putting together products for the Nigerian market and the African market. So, and then we also have people, the consumers are just beginning to embrace these products and um, artistry as well. So I would say that in the next few years, you have to look out for this industry because there's so much coming from this end. I think in general, the beauty industry is growing, it's going to blow up. In Nigeria, we're just like right at the, we're not even at the edge of what it could be. Um, everybody knows that Nigerian women love beauty, they love to look great. And um, we're seeing that in, at Beauty Revenge, we're seeing a lot of women come to us saying, you know, we want to look and feel confident, even if it's at the workplace, in the boardroom, or at a party, whatever it is. And, um, you know, it's exciting. It's also really, really fun. Our African makeup artists are amazing and they're doing amazing work. And it's just exciting and great to be part of it. Fixing the growth of the beauty industry in Nigeria, um, I would say is um, going to be large and it's something the investors should look into. and. Um, it's a new source of income for lots of people out there who want to be entrepreneurs. So it's a good thing. The best tip I've been given by someone concerning beauty would be drink loads of water. That has been my, very, my worst challenge and I'm still fighting it, but I would also pass it on to anybody listening or watching, water does the trick. You have to drink water for your skin to look good. And if your skin doesn't look good, then everything won't fall into place. So, water. You have to take care of your face. So I recommend you to use a lot of onion, like maximum like 30 minutes an hour. I recommend St. Eve's products. They're very, very good because they're very natural. They're not so much of chemical in it. So I think everybody so far should try as much as possible. So please take care of this. Because without this, there's not this. My best beauty regimen will be to wash my face at night before I go to bed. It is something I've been doing for years and um, I don't miss it. And also to brush my teeth. Those two things, because your smile is also important and your teeth need to be as white as ever. The best beauty tip um, that's been given to me, it's funny, it's probably the first beauty tip I was ever given and that was my mother saying make sure you have the right soap or face wash for your face and the right moisturizer. Don't kind of just use regular soap or what everybody else is using and um, don't use the same lotion on your body that you use on your face. So just making sure that my skin has what it needs and not just, you know, the easiest thing. I think the best beauty tip that I think is very good 
is um, dipping your freshly colored nails into cold water to make it dry faster. Washing my face before I go to bed especially. I always love my face to look, you know, smooth and soft. So it's not every time I love to wear makeup because uh, I believe that um, making up like every day uh, actually blocks your pores. So I try as much as possible not to make up every day. I only make up when I need to. My best beauty regimen would be washing my face every night. The best tip I've ever been given is a little different. Um, I, de I have oily skin and I know a lot of women, especially in this climate, have oily skin and it was something for years that I felt very, very, very um, self-conscious about. And the best tip I was given was, hey, look, when you have oily skin, when you're older, you're not going to have wrinkles. And so when it's sunny and it's hot and my makeup is just not sitting right, I'm just looking forward to when I'm 60 years old and looking flawless. So yeah, that's the best beauty tip. Slick City Empire.